You see how life works? You see how life works? Hassan, you doing the same thing to Kwame Brown, what you claimed I did to you. The hypocrisy in is you made your whole followers feel like people was coming out the woodwork for nothing and just doing these tactics against you, which all I was doing, which was a little bit too much jokes, but was throwing a, a narrative out there of what you put out there already and telling you you have to explain it. People like me lost channels defending you. You know this already. This how you, you knew who I was years ago. And I don't even try to say, oh, he knows me. I don't, why do I care? I like two humans who know about each other, meaning that we know what it is, me and you. So I don't get deep into that. Pause. These folks can get into the whole theatrics like a movie or a sitcom show, but this is real life. I, I'm witnessing a live you doing right now, and I'm going to be honest with you. Your name is in the algorithm so much because I guess you lit in your own way, meaning that I don't call that lit. Some of the things you say is disrespectful and distasteful because you're supposed to be a quote-unquote victim, which I do think you're a victim. I, I'm, I'm not going to say you're not a victim. You are. We can't let Africa Bambada go away with that, bro. That, that's BS. I still look at hip-hop like, y'all crazy, bro. Y'all worrying about 6 9 but everybody in hip-hop know about Bambada, and none of the hip-hop heads are seen anything, and we uplift these folks, bro. So I'm with Hassan on that, but this is where I fall away from you, bro. You doing relentless attacks on her, I mean, uh, uh, Kwame Brown, like it, like his a uh, new mama's cooking that could feed you, like you stole mama's cooking recipe or something, bro. Yeah, let's talk about the charades and who's really copying each other now. But before I get started, man, look, y'all, do me a favor, man, hit that like button for one, because obviously where I do agree with that man, Hassan, educational purpose, I do feel like this system we work for on YouTube, I do feel like sometimes views and educational purpose, things like that get suppressed, and you can literally see it, and it's like you didn't change your um, waves or how you do things, I do agree with a lot of these content creators, sometimes we take an L if we don't support each other, so hit that like button right quick, it ain't begging or nothing like that, I could be like donations, donations, nah, I'm one of the few YouTubers that don't ask for donations, and when I do, it be on some versus situations. Facts, because I really do a good job hosting. Fast forward back to this, bro. You up on here, bro, talking about Kwame Brown. He got to work for the Illuminati. How he get to talk about Charlemagne. Don't nothing happen to him? First of all, something did happen to him, just like a lot of us. Like Charlemagne, what he do behind the scenes, and I don't have to say allegedly because it happened to me. I got the proof, so if he takes me to court for that, We'll just go to court and because that, especially if he tries to flag what I'm saying, I'm not saying anything offensive. I'm following the YouTube guidelines. Shout out to Charlemagne the Fraud, but he'll give you a cease and desist order. I tr I sent it to Kwame Brown, but I guess Kwame, I mean, he wasn't looking at my channels like that back then. I think he knew of me based on Tommy's channel at the time because I would send you know, things on his uh, YouTube channel before he even got big like this. And I never get mad at people when they don't answer me because I feel like... Kwame, even if he was big like this on YouTube or not, I mean, he's Kwame Brown. He's still a National Basketball Association player. In my eyes, that's still somebody who's getting a lot of messages a day. So how the hell he's going to see my messages? And my Instagram ain't even big like that because I don't promote it enough. And that's a new Instagram I got. So it's like, I guess he's one of them guys. It got to be you know, potent enough to go skimming through all that. And I feel him. Sometimes I'm the same way. Shout out to Kwame Brown. Now, fast forward to this, he got a, a cease and desist order or whatever. So how does that make you? And I have to, I'm sorry I have to ramble that long, y'all, because this man called Kwame the Illuminati. Look what look at this nigga's career, bro. And let me be more respectful. Look at this man, Kwame Brown's career. That man's career been in a situation where you look at him, he's the most freest NBA player I've ever seen in my life. Besides, I think the Sharif dude, and there's another one too. You know what Kwame Brown been through, but yet he's part of the go get along. So now you're copying Kwame's Brown stitch. You see what I mean about these characters? Everything you and your supporters said I did to you, I'm witnessing. Not only you, you're so-called doing the accusations that you said I did to you, but you're going over your head to do it. At least me and you, we knew each other and you knew why I went head to head. Pause. Kwame Brown... Maybe he knew of you, but never said nothing about you or uttered anything about you a day in your life, but you was thirsty, just like the rest of the other content creators. You needed them views. You needed that attention and a fake false narrative and a fake controversy. 
to upstart the engine. We know how YouTube works. I'm, I even was taking my views going low again. Now they're going up again, but it's, it fluctuates. That's how YouTube works. But you're sitting back like, damn, Kwame Brown views ain't really going down at all. It's just skyrocketing. It's booming. This is my sector. I ain't getting love like that. With you so blind, you was getting love. You was getting love so much by people who are blind to who you really were. I ain't going to go deep on that because you're a sensitive one. You're going to get the flagging again or bring in attorneys allegedly. We're going to get far away from that. You win, sir. You could deny, deny. I ain't going to argue with you. You win that one. We know what's really going on. Now, continue it on. I got to watch these type of dudes who don't let other black folks eat criticize other black folks and say they're not letting others eat. It's funny, bro. Charlemagne, the guy, you say you help victims. Ain't Jessica went through the same thing that you supposed to continue to put pressure on Charlemagne, but it's not that season for you to talk about Charlemagne, right, Hassan? So he's not going to be somebody you really make videos to defend so-called victims, which that was supposed to be what you were on YouTube for. But now you're making videos on every hip-hop person out there because it pays good. And you can't argue that with me. I've been on YouTube longer than you. It pays good. I witnessed everybody on YouTube do the hip-hop route that I did. Big facts. Super facts. I heard everybody, bless one, you talk about everything, if I pick one, you either going to be in battle rap, you're going to be in conscious rap. No, I talk about everything. I don't put me in one sector. Hip-hop is universal. Everything is transparent with hip-hop. Whether it's poetry, the news you get today, the culture we live in, everything is universal with hip-hop. So I talk about everything. And I was called the lost child for that. Now what's everybody platform about? <laughs> hip-hop. Am I lying, y'all? been in this sector for a minute. I ain't here to argue with nobody. Man, it's facts and, and proof in the pudding. Just by y'all responses right now, I know y'all felt, you felt that energy in the room when I said that in my line. Y'all all said, he ain't capping. <laughs> sure enough, everybody did switch to the hip-hop era. But I've been I smoke hip-hop day one, wrong or right. And I've always been hip-hop. I've always kept it hip-hop. Now these dudes like Hassan, rambling, that ain't hip-hop. To look for another black dude for no reason. And now you're going to get your views up to bring him down consciously. Maybe if y'all was on the nigga shit, it would make sense. I ain't going to lie. Hip-hop be about that dumb dumbness sometimes. But this brother's building up, talking about trades in school, which I've always said. Look, I'm somebody who made a 3.2 in high school. But when I got to my sophomore year, I just kept skipping school because I was like, damn, it's slow for me. Meaning that the things they were teaching me in school, I already learned that like in sixth grade or fifth grade. And it was bothering me that in the high school level, they still was teaching like that. It was almost insulting. And I started realizing it, that these teachers follow a curriculum. It's not nothing solely based to really improve you or me. They're basically babysitting our parents' kids, you know, meaning us. And even when we have our own kids, they're babysitting them. And that's a dangerous game because what are they teaching them? Now, let me get back on topic. You, Hassan, have made a guy like that that's talking about trading codings. And you turned this man into the world's enemy in day one over you pooping and pouting. Over jealousy, like I did the analogy on another video, I said, like the pretty girl in the room syndrome. You just don't like it. You can't take that attention is on her now. It got to be on you. I seen that whack video you did. Oh, y'all comparing me to him? A basketball player? I'm like, whoa, I, I was right. I was not shocked because I was waiting for it. I put that on my kids, bro. I was like, damn, Hassan ain't made a video about Kwame yet? I'm just waiting for his turn. <laughs> he ain't made a video yet? I was shocked that it took this long to be real with you. I mean, you have that syndrome. You go at everybody that's the new so-called wave in the sector, bro. You can't stand that. You never was supposed to be in the sector to begin with. Once again, shout out to Star Terrain. You wasn't even supposed to be in the sector. You was in the sector as a bodyguard, security guard for the Zulu Nation being represented by Brother Polite. I remember there was on Black News 102 channel and... You see this dude right there. He's on the video now. Y'all go to Black News 102 and go between the years of 2012 to 2014 and y'all find it. And I ain't going to help y'all find it. I ain't here to argue. Facts. Now, all, all of a sudden, Ronald Savage come out. You come out with your story. Now, I should focus in saying maybe you lying, but I didn't. It just showed how much of a monster Bambada was. Let's stick to that. You rarely talk about that. You did a live today, some girl named Monica or Erica or something like that. you like, oh, don't worry. Hit me behind the scenes. Let me find out who is doing, who I'm talking to that's been doing foul things to you. Oh, now you the man that want to protect the so-called victims. Where was this for all these years? 
You was too busy buying the brand new clothing. By the way, I'm wearing Tupac. Spitting real juice from a real one. Rest in peace to the real one, man. This man right here, one word destroys your whole entire brand. And I'm not going to say it on YouTube. One word. And you know it. We talk like men behind the scenes and I have yet to do anything to mock you or belittle you. Everything I'm saying on these recent videos where I did say, you know, you're a public figure. Shout out to my elders and my mentors who taught me how I have a right to speak on a public figure. I don't harass anybody. I don't attack anybody. I'm merely debating an educational purpose video here. Shout out to the YouTube team who also introduced me to the YouTube Academy. And I rightfully so know how to do it. Yeah, brother, man. So when I made that conversation with you behind the scenes, I stand on it. I'm a man first. I don't play with words I say to people. I know what karma is. I've been through karma already. Thank God I survived that accident when I was in the military and it had nothing to do with war. It was us at Fort Benning being idiots, drinking on a late Sunday night, and one of us ain't here no more. We'll leave it at that. I survived a car crash. Never been through one like that in my life, and I still pray to the Most High. Thank you very much. I fall back and I look at guys like you. What is your learning lessons? Where's your growth? It's the same rebuttals and the same tactics on every video. You pouting your face and you angry with somebody else. I seen somebody say, bless you, you be angry at people too. Not really. Do I be angry at times? But rarely. All my videos are actual conversations. But the, I'm the facilitator and the person who's receiving a convo and they don't like the way this dialogue is going because they say the truth cuts like a sword. So when scripture is being given out, which is just real energy in the room, dudes can't take it. You see, the, whole, the, the the world shakes, at least I feel when I say a certain word, and you all should feel like that. You shouldn't have to worry and seek attention. You should feel like when you speak to the Mount Zions and all the way to Mount Everest, all the people of the world are hearing you. You shouldn't feel like you need a YouTube platform or a social media. You should feel like you are the social media platform. You are the internet. I am the soul, the spiritual soul. So people could feel you. You don't have to always shout it out, my nigga. People could feel it. People could see it. People could know it. People been through it already because people are it. They don't need you to create this false narrative for them. You full of yourself. Take heed to what you do out here, my nigga, because you's a wild dude out here. Yes, indeed, truly. You a wild cat. We can't dance around that. You're a very wild cat out here, bro. Y'all hit that like button for me, man. Hit that like, share that notification bell. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't profess to be a leader, none of that. I just speak, and these are my personal opinions, and it's up to y'all to feel like, do you rock with it or not, or do you just agree to disagree, or do you just like the vibes? And that, those are the people I rock with, not people making fake beef and internalizing it deeper than what it is. Now we're mortal enemies, and we educational purpose, following each other for years with negative energy. No, nah, I don't need that in my life. I feel like the bless, blessings of the Most High has been truly laid upon me. And honestly, I want to keep receiving my blessings. So to all these naysayers and the followers of Hassan, just watch your king get in despair. I'm not going to even be like, is this is your king and all that corniness. I'm just going to say, look at your so-called leader. Watch how he's acting out here. Shout out to Smoke Gang. I'm trying to go rightfully for y'all. I'm not Smoke Gang's leader. I'm just Smoke Gang's family, meaning I'm one of them. They one of me. Perfectly. It goes hand in hand. Nobody's above each other down here. Facts. We just rock out and have a good time. You could be part of Smoke Gang too. Come be in a membership to, for the new content and videos that I'm about to start doing. I got to. I got to move rightfully so out here. Peace. Love your family. Love your kids and stay blessed. Blessings to the queens and the gods out here.